All right. This is what I'm doing. Or kind of doing. What a nightmare. There's my aeration tank. Yep, I'll explain this in a second, but I'm just showing you. Alright, it's 8 a.m. I'm an absolute ball of sweat. It is so hot, so humid, so wet, so damp. Oh, God, I hate summer. God. Well, the reason I look like this is because I have got this double pump well system because the absolute shoemaker that lived here before me decided he wanted a sprinkler system. Well, I moved in here 16 years ago and turned this place into the fish camp. And the fish camp don't need no sprinkler system because I just went around and killed all the grass. As you can see, there's my yard. I go with a, my sprayer and I kill the weeds. That's how I do my landscaping. Because when it's 110 degrees in the shade and I back this boat into this, into this boat shed here, I ain't getting out and cutting go grass and putting up with lawn mowers and all that. So, long story short, the wells, the well pumps, are constant, constant maintenance. I'd say I get two, three months out of them because we don't have in this entire area right here around my house, nobody has city water, or city sewer, or anything like that. We all have wells, and mine, I mean, it's fine as long as everything works, but I got this double pump system. And I'm sitting here waiting on a pump guy that I had here before to fix stuff to try to help me figure out what is going on with that system. Because we talked about it before. I called him yesterday, never got a call back, never got a show up, never got nothing. So the first thing this morning at seven o'clock, what do I do? I get a text saying, oh my God, the whole world blew up on us. Okay, yeah, we'll get, we'll get with it today. <sighs> Man, I'm telling you. So I was gonna take this perfect opportunity to show you my newest star rods. And these are the ones that I thought I was purchasing in the very beginning they got the anti-foul guides and the only thing they don't have is a gimbal as you can see it's just a rubber butt cap these are star deluxe models these are a step up supposedly from the aerials the aerials are what my shark rods are Okay, these got the anti foul guide. Super simple. It's just a heavy, heavy boat rod. That's all it is. I got my Shimano Tritons on here. Let me uh, put the camera up here for a second. Alrighty. I don't think these are the exact same blanks as those aerials that I showed you with the tur turbo guides, the star rods, star aerials. Uh, but this one here is three quarter to four ounce and the other one was one to four ounce. 
and I can tell you these are the DLX 407 these are seven footers I've got my Shimano Tritons on them and I'm gonna get up here in the boat and I'm gonna see really how if I need to change this out and put a gimbal on it I don't think I do because you know gimbals hurt this butt cap doesn't hurt but they could have easily put the butt cap on like the ugly stick that has the gimbal built in so it locks into a rod holder but these are going to be from now on these are going to be my bottom rods in the river and at the jetties I got the other ones they're the shark rods they're going to be just for sharks these heavy bottom bull reds whatever heavy sinker the whole nine yards there I still have my tiger medium lights and they're going to be pressed into service for medium light duty these are going to be the HDs we're in the river and we're pitching six eight ounces behind the boat that's what these are going to be about I like them because good God this is just a simple rod I've had like I said before and showed in other videos I've had rods with anti foul guides just keep them clean that's all you got to do just hose them down no ceramic to pop out but as you can see let me show you the bend here there is really no flexi tip to snap no flex tip so <clears throat> I'm I'm not dealing with them flexible tips anymore for uh, for big fish so let me get up in the rod uh, up in the boat with the rod and show you what it looks like Alrighty, here's a little better look at the star rods with my strong arm rig uh, swinging there. Of course, I have to always put on my own little hook holder, which is a zip tie with a hole on it. Bring your hook on down. They don't have no hook holder. And you just put it in there like that. Everybody always sees that and goes, oh my God, where'd you get those? I go, you know, Home Depot in a 25 pack let's give it the old pool test here oh, you gotta tighten up the drag all right these are my these are so nice these are the old fighting star shimanos five to one gear ratio they called them back then speed masters I think cast King or somebody even dial has got out eight to one gear ratio now so speed master is now called slow master compared to the new reels this one is an ancient one it's it's in such good condition now it's got a little bit of a hang-up but it's just age all right let's give it the old pool test here There we go. No tip bending over. Whole rod or nothing. That's like a bull redfish pulling on it right there. So, I'm happy. You know, for some reason, as a fisherman, as a fisherman myself, you know, I've I've always not enjoyed broken rods it's just it's like one of these stab in the back kind of things you know you got your confidence in it you got all this you know reputation and you got all this stuff and then a rod snaps in half <laughs> I mean it's like I don't even know what to equate it to but um yeah, these, I guess these will, when you're getting a little bite, 
they'll do the whole rod bounce but instead of the tip. You'll get this. Beep, 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 beep. I'm a little bait pecker. I'm a little bait pecker. I'm called a hardhead catfish. So, I'm looking forward to getting out and bottom fishing and seeing what these any foul guided stars will be all about. I had to put some uh, glue or I put some JB Weld stuff in that rubber right there because the rod's quite tight compared to these here. I mean, as you can see, it's kind of tight. You gotta give it a little pull on these. These are different rod holders than these over here and these over here. These are ones I put in, which are nicer than the ones that the boat came with. Well, not came with, yeah, I mean, I had them put in two rod holders when I um, bought the boat, and that was these two, I believe, these Percos. Perco is Crepo. So, um, there you go. Four more stars. No more broken rods, hopefully. We all say that, don't we? But there's just something about these guides. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six of them. It's just something about them that makes you say utilitarian simple. <laughs>